I was a mortgage broker at the time, and I took an application for somebody who said that they were a winemaker. And natural curiosity led me to ask lots of questions about wine and winemaking. And the guy was just simply calling to uh, apply for a loan, but uh, it didn't matter to me. I was more interested in what he was doing at the time, and little did I know that was where I was going to end up. Somebody asked me if I had uh, had a good bottle of wine once, and uh, the answer was no. So they introduced me to several tasting rooms um, here in the local region, and uh, had my mind blown. I couldn't believe the flavors that were coming out of Washington State. From the boutique wineries, people making, you know, 100 cases or less of each. Um, wow, I was just amazed. And that was where everything started kind of clicking. What makes Washington special for me is that we can grow almost anything here. We're not necessarily limited by our weather and the terroir. We can grow just about anything. We're pretty much a desert climate in eastern Washington. With irrigation, we can get almost anything ripe, any varietal that you can imagine. And so I thought, well, wait a second. So you can buy grapes from growers on the other side of the state, bring it back over to western Washington, make the wine, barrel age the wine, ferment, etc., etc., and um, you don't need a chateau, you can have a warehouse, and you can keep your day job. That's pretty neat. i would never even thought about that. Now, one of the varietals that I picked up uh, early on was Aligote. Um, it's the other Burgundy. And make it in a dry, real crisp, acidity style, and man, it tastes amazing. And people love it. Um, additionally, on the red wine side, we've done everything from um, you know, Primitivo to Tempranillo to uh, Malbec, Cab Franc. Currently, we're working with Tanat and Suzao. I mean, all these varieties are out there and they have amazing flavors, and most people haven't tried them, so I'm really excited about giving people that opportunity to taste that. We want to cover the whole gambit, but give people a really unique experience when they come to our tasting room. Back in 2005, 2006, um, while I was considering starting a winery, um, somebody introduced me to a red wine called Carmenere. Um, I was lucky enough to taste it directly out of the barrel, and it blew my mind. I didn't know exactly what I was experiencing or, or how to explain it, but the taste was amazing. And I thought, wow, this might be the next Cabernet Sauvignon or something of that nature. In fact, um, not only do we blend with it, but we do a single varietal, and we also make a rosé with it. And it's something actually we haven't quite released yet. But I'm so intrigued by it, but I, I think it'll be quickly something that will become a, a fan favorite, and it isn't mine already, and that's a grape called Tanat. Um, Tanat is uh, a French grape originally. Uh, there's very, very little of it grown um, in the United States, and even less so in Washington State. But it's a really big, bold red wine. Um, true to Washington form, though, I've been able to capture plenty of fruit flavors on that. Um, we started working with the grape in 2014 vintage, so I actually don't have anything bottled yet, but hopefully be released in 2016, 2017, maybe, depending on how, how everything works out. I can't wait for people to experience something uh, that's going to blow their mind and be completely unique. Mm -hmm.